Hey guys, welcome back to Freak Motion. Today we are going to create a really interesting magic spell animation. I find that on internet, and I thought that will be great to share the technique with you guys. So without any further ado, let's jump into the After Effects, and let's get started. Let's create a composition with standard settings. Give it a name you like. I found this background from Freebook. There are lots of similar background, which you can get easily. Adjust the background. Now take the pen tool, and draw a shape like this. Just make sure, that covers the area of the magic spell. like this. You can change the layer name here. Now take the shape tool, and create a rectangle on top of the other layers. Just like this. Now we are going to add multiple effects here. So go to effects and presets, and search for fractal noise. Add it to the layer. Change the fractal type to strings and noise type to spline. Also change the contrast value to 250, and brightness value to minus 25. Reduce the complexity value. Open transform option. And change the width value 80. And height value 20. Open Evolution option. Check this cycle evolution. Now, add a keyframe on evolution on the very first frame, then go forward to the end of the timeline. And change its value to 1. Now you can see the movement on this layer. Let's add another effect called Tritone. From here you can change the color tone of this layer. Pick color from your composition. Or you can choose your own color. Let's add some glow effect on this layer. Make the threshold value 50%. Or you can play with some other values. Let's go to effects and presets, and search for set mat and apply it to the layer. Then change the shape layer to spell layer. Now we can see the liquid effect there. Adjust the color if you need. I am just trying to match the liquid color with my composition color. When I am changing the color, you can also change the color of the subscribe button by clicking on it. Also press the like button, and turn on the notification. It keeps me motivated. Alright. Select both of these layer, and press Ctrl plus D to make duplicate. Then pre-compose these layers also. Let's call it Shine. Then go to Effects and Presets, and search for CC Radial Fast Blur. Apply it on the layer. Drag the anchor point to the down like this, so the shine can go upwards. Don't drag it all the way to the bottom, keep it somewhere like this. By change this amount you can get some different results, so keep this according to you like. So main part of our animation is done. Let's create a new solid layer. Let's call it Bubble. Now, go to Effects and Presets, and search for an effect called, CC Particle System 2. First change the particle type to bubble. Now we need to change the values one by one. Change the birth rate value to 0.1 and longevity value 
change the velocity to 0.1 and gravity minus 0.1. On the producer, first change the anchor point some something like this. Then increase the X radius value a little bit, so it can cover the pot. Now, if we play, it seems like that the bubble coming from the liquid itself. You can change the colors from here. Now, inside the particle option, change the birth size to 0.04. Keep the death size same. Change the variation to 20%. And max opacity to 65%. You can also change the random seed value also. So this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and get something new from it. Thank you for watching, see you guys in the next video. Till then have fun, and stay safe.